Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Raven. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a charmed theory again. Now, the last episode that we did of this, we talked about Phoebe's biological father being a warlock. Again, just a theory. This theory is about how the real Prue Hallowell died during the middle of season one. Now, do y'all remember the episode called Which Prue Is It Anyway? Where Prue does an incantation from the Book of Shadows and she creates two identical clones of herself. Okay, so they keep track of all the Prues. They were, they make each and every single one of them wear a different colored sweater, revealing that the real Prue was supposed to be wearing the black sweater and then there was the two other ones as well. So, during this episode, what ends up happening is Prue's basically come up with a plan to get rid of the evil the same way that they always do. They come up with a plan. Well, to protect themselves from Piper and Phoebe going against the idea, they end up changing their outfits. Well, why would they do this? Why would they readjust their clothes? Because they know they're going to be stopped. So they change their clothes. And basically what happens is there's a chance that the real Prue went and put on a different colored sweater than the black one she was supposed to originally be wearing. So Piper and Phoebe pull the Prue aside wearing the black sweater, believing to be that is the real Prue, not one of the clones. It is said that maybe the Prue with the blue sweater is actually the real Prue and they just kicked her out believing the opposite. So she ends up missing when they're done talking to the Prue in the black sweater. And we all know what happens. So the Prue in the blue sweater decides to take on the, the plan. And what ends up happening is she ends up dying at the hands of the evil guy. The Prue in the black sweater feels this but does not disappear. So it appears that she is the real Prue. Here we come to find... That the incantation Prue read from the Book of Shadows created two clones with all of Prue's memories and experiences who would stay as long as they were needed. When the real Prue, the one in the blue sweater, died, she left behind two sisters who not only were very dependent on her, but still also possessed fairly weak powers. According to this theory, not necessarily my view. They would at the time be easily defeated by almost any enemy. Because of this, the remaining Prue clone had to stay as the spell obliged her to stick around for as long as her presence was needed. What do y'all think of this? I think this is a very interesting proof, but what would have happened if this is actually true? So, also, here's the deal too. In the episode, all hell breaks loose. When the perceived clone Prue really dies, what if that's the real reason that Leo couldn't heal her? Because that clone was no longer needed, as the source had successfully broken up the power of three using shacks and time travel. If this theory is true, that would mean, with all the events going on in the episode leading up to it, Paige was bound to come into the picture regardless whether or not Piper used the To Call Lost Sister spell. So the clone magic would fizzle out as it was time for the clone to move on and leave her sisters now that they were safe and ready for their real destiny. What do you all think of this? I think this is a very interesting theory. And it almost makes sense in a way. Because when this episode happened, Prue actually changed from what I recall. Now, I am going to be re-watching the series again because I love the series so much. I actually wonder if this is actually what happened. What do you all think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, if you could, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you are new here. Welcome. I do a whole bunch of different type of videos for you all to enjoy. And the link of this will be is the same as the one I used in the other video of this. I'm also going to link it again in the description. And all my photos used today are from Google Images. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!